What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And we got a, an unboxing of a new phone today. This is pretty exciting. My wife had the Z1S, but we got it and then we learned the Z2 is coming out right around the corner. So since we'd only had it for a couple days, we went to uh, T-Mobile and we returned it and we were waiting on the Z2. And then the Z2 didn't come to the US, so we went ahead and just got the S5. And so she's pretty excited about this phone right here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, she really, really wanted the Z3, and here we go. She's going to be using this. She also ordered a case for it from Cruiser Light, so I'll link to those in the description if you want to put those on there. Uh, it looks like there's a... Wow, it's a weird packaging, but okay. All right, that's it. Nothing else in the box. We did get this from a re reseller on Amazon, Singapore Warranty. So this looks like it's a... You know, uh, international phone, which it is, but it does pick up the 700 megahertz AT&T LTE band, which is uh, what she's going to be using it on. So I'm guessing they were, went ahead and included a U.S. charger since we're going to be in the U.S. charging it, or this might be an adapter. Yeah, this is a U.S. to uh, adapter. Now, honestly, I'm not very educated on different outlets in different countries, so I can't tell you what kind of country has that. Uh, please don't uh, go too hard on me there. All right. It says uh, 4K video recording, which is awesome. You've got high-res audio. You've got IP68 certification. Sony actually has a quad-core Android Wear smartwatch coming out soon on the Google Play Store, and it's also IP68 certified. You've got a 2.5 gigahertz quad-core. That's pretty freaking crazy. Uh, the biggest reason she wanted this phone is that 20.7 megapixel camera, optic image stabilization, and 4K video recording. Now, she's just more of a pictures kind of person, so... She doesn't really care about all the fancy optic image stabilization and 4K this and that. But, I mean, hey, if you need to record a video, it's going to look really good. So, this I'm going to go ahead and warn you now. This unboxing might be a little bit longer than what you're wanting to watch. Uh, just look at the time of the video and say, hey, I'm not willing to stick around that long. I won't be mad at you. Uh, if you leave a comment about it, though, then I'll... Uh, that's that's your deal you didn't listen to this part of the video i don't know how many videos i'm going to make of this phone because this is going to be my wife's phone right now she's using the one plus one so i don't make very many videos on that if any at all actually so i will actually be able to make more one plus one videos if she likes this phone and keeps it if she doesn't keep it then she'll go back to her one plus one and there will be more z3 videos <laughs> so it just kind of depends on what she wants and you know what she's going to keep and stuff so Let's open this sucker up here. All right, looks like we got the phone here. And then we'll just go ahead and pull it out. All right. There we go. 4K video recording, 3 gigs of RAM, IP68 waterproof, digital, two-day, 3100. Very nice battery life there. And we'll set that to the side. And then you've got this little plug here, and I'm guessing it just goes in here. Now, I've got many, many, many of these... Um, little things here like this one came with my LG G3 and a lot of the times I just put it back in the box because I use a uh, desktop charger from Anchor that I've made a video on I'll link to it in the description but I just charge up all my phones with that unless it has a removable battery and then I just like my note 4 I just put it uh, the battery on the charger and put 100% battery in my phone and uh, this one's a sealed battery so you can't do that but 3100 is going to get you the whole day hopefully and you know whatever so we've got the normal standard micro USB cable here and I will zoom in here. In here you have the earphones. So that's pretty cool that it comes with some earphones. And then you have different size, like people have different size ear holes, basically. <laughs> and then a bunch of books and stuff. Now this does take a nano SIM, so I'm going to have to uh, go to the AT&T store and get our micro switched out to a nano. But not the end of the world. I'm going to go do that later today, actually. So let's just put all this back in here. This is the D6653 in silver green. So let's go ahead and set that to the side. And let's spend a minute, <laughs> several minutes with this phone here. So peel this off. That beautiful 5.2 inch screen. I believe it's only 1080. I'm not sure at the moment. 
pretty sure it's it's a, a 1080p screen, but well, I could be wrong. Now, on the side here, you have your micro SD card slot, which is nice because this is the 16 gig model. You are going to need to use that micro SD card if you want to store some apps on there. Uh, we're going to be rooting this thing like today. <laughs> I'm not going to waste any time with that. Looks like there's also something else right there that might be for the SIM card. Uh, it looks like, no, this part right here is the SIM card. So, oh, nope, that's to charge it. So, yeah, you got your micro SD card and your SIM card right there. It uh, looks like one's actually inserted. Oh, no, it's just a placeholder or, or a little card tray to hold it, to put it in. So, there's your SIM card. There's your SD card right next to each other. And it's got, like, a little release there to make sure that it doesn't come out. And then you have your power button, your volume up and down, your dedicated camera button, which is actually pretty nice. It's been a while since I've had a phone with one of those. Looks like this might be some kind of speaker or like strap or something. I don't know. <laughs> it might be the speaker. Uh, yeah, I would assume it's the speaker because it's right there and there's nothing on the back and there's nothing on the bottom. So that's probably the speaker. And then there's your little dock. We do plan on getting that dock and making a video on that dock when I get it. So that's pretty cool. And then, then, then again, that, that was your charging port. This is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And this is your microphone. Now, this is a like flagship phone i don't know why they didn't include an ir blaster that just doesn't make sense i mean i use the heck out of my ir blaster on my htc one to make google play edition on my uh, note 3 on my note 4 and, and all my other phones that have it like the lg my lg g3 has a fingerprint scanner so let's just do a quick little size comparison since we're mentioning the note 4 here um look from the bottom right here to the top you can notice that there is a significant difference between the the look that fits inside the freaking Note 4. And we were able to pre-order a Nexus 6. So we have Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and Nexus Player. All three of those will get videos, unboxing, how to roots, um, custom ROMs, recovery, all kinds of stuff. So And we're full reviews of all the devices. So, uh, And we can compare the... Z, you know, do a quick little comparison between the Z3 and the Nexus 6 and stuff, but... So there's a sizable difference between these devices right here. The Note 4 just towers over it, basically. I really like the body of this one. I really like it. It's so It just feels so premium and awesome. I really enjoy that. So we'll go ahead and power this thing on. Uh, I, I would go ahead and just throw her SIM card in there right now and be done with it. But again, we got to... Switch it from a micro to a nano. It says powered by Android, so it's probably got the latest Android 4.4 on it. I don't know how good Sony's going to be with their um, releasing like updates like Lollipop and stuff. All right, so right away you can see that we have some apps installed, their own little custom launcher. If you don't like it, you can just throw Nova Launcher on there. It's from the Google Play Store. Uh, that right there, if you're curious, is your NFC icon. That means you do not have a SIM card inserted. Of course, your signal battery with a little percentage inside it, which is nice because it doesn't take up extra room on your bar with the little percentage sign and then the number next to it and then the battery. So that's actually pretty nice that they did that. And then your time without the AM or PM next to it. Sony mobile warranty information and safety guides. And then your quick settings here so you can just toggle the Wi-Fi. Uh, I wonder if you can long press on it. Okay, so it's a little bit different than like a, like a Synge Mod or TouchWiz. When you long press on it, it'll bring up this little thing right here, and you'll just press on that. So we'll long press on this, go here, and it's picking up our 5 gigahertz network, which is pretty nice. We'll go ahead and connect to that. Oh, there's the Sony keyboard. You can replace that with SwiftKey, which is probably what we're going to end up doing anyway. All right, we'll go ahead and connect to our network here. And every time I set up Wi-Fi on a new device, I go here to Advanced. And then I turn off the little notification that there's Wi-Fi around me because, you know, if I'm not at home, I'm going to be using my LTE. Uh, scanning always available. A lot of apps recommend turning that off. Wi-Fi optimization is if you want better Wi-Fi signal and speeds and stuff uh, versus battery life now. So it's got a big battery. It should be just fine. And then below Passport Networks is your MAC address and your IP address. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reset this device just to be safe after I do this so I won't be logging into my Google account. Uh, it didn't ask me to like go through some setup screens, so I don't know if this was pre-set up before I got it 
I, I, I don't know. This is um this was a reseller on Amazon, and they obviously packaged this with it. So there's no telling if they did something to it before I received it. But uh, so we got play games, which is normal. AVG antivirus. <laughs> this is a so we're gonna reset this sucker. There's no doubt about that. We're definitely resetting this, rooting it, and uh, eventually installing a custom ROM on it when those are available. So that camera is definitely one of the most impressive features of the device. I remember photo location. Uh, it just it stores where the photo was taken. So if you're not sure where the photo was taken, you can check the EXIF. I think it's what it is information, and it'll tell you where the picture was taken and longitude, latitude, and stuff like that. So we've got a little uh, picture button here to capture pictures. Long pressing on it doesn't do anything. You might be able to enable like the capture where it captures like crazy pictures. You got a video button, so you start recording video in 4K. It's got a nice little pause button, so if you need to switch areas or like walk to a certain area and then start recording again, you can do that, and you don't have to like throw it through an editor just to cut out a bunch of boring long pauses or if you're waiting for something to install or whatever. So that's nice. You got a nice little pause button there, and then you can stop and view the video that you recorded in 4K resolution. So we'll just go through some of the stuff here. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Everything is widescreen these days. So please take your pictures in 16 by 9. Record your videos in 16 by 9. Uh, Self-timer, smile shutter, preview, face registration, or registration. Self-timer, steady shot, intelligent active, standard off, microphone, preview, and under your settings here, you've got a quick launch for launch only. What can we do here? Launch and capture. So cool. Probably the moment you press that button, it probably launches the camera app and either takes a picture or starts recording video. So that's really cool. So if we go home, we can go ahead and hit that button. And oh, you might have to hold it. Okay, so you do hold it and it launches the camera app. That's really cool. So that's a really qu quick and easy way. So you don't necessarily even have to take a camera button and keep it on your home screen anywhere. You can just hold down this button and it launches the camera app. Nice little vibration there. And this is your modes apparently. So you can choose superior auto, manual, what's under manual. So you got your ISO, you've got all these little things you can change in here, your white balance, and that's that's cool. That's really, let's switch that back to auto. <laughs> All right, so, and then under here, you got geotagging, touch capture, so you touch on the screen to capture. Um, I would much rather just touch to select focus on that, on that area. You can use the volume keys to zoom in and out, and if you have an SD card inserted, um, you can go ahead and store your pictures on that if you have one inserted. So basically, you know, you can t if you record a 4K video, you can you know, power your phone off, pull the SD card out, put it in your computer, transfer that huge video to your computer using a USB 3.0 card reader, put the SD card back in your phone and be done. So that's really cool. They included the SD card on there. So let's go ahead and use this volume buttons to show you how the zoom works. So we'll just click that a few times, the plus button to zoom in. And as you can see, we are zooming in. That is the camera that I'm using to record this video, the FDR AX100. That's really cool. So uh, we're not going to spend too much time. There's the front facing camera. There's my ugly mug and my camera and what I use to record audio. It's a Zoom H2N. So because the camera audio sucks really bad. One really cool feature about this is I have a PlayStation 4 uh, that I play almost daily. Uh, you can add me on PSN, www.joshdew. I am also on Xbox. My gamer tag is www.joshdo. Not D E W, it's D O on there. You can uh, if you add me, send me a message, and I'll add you back. I will not know that you added me until you message me, and I'll add you back. On PlayStation, it's a different story. It's a normal, typical. You send me a friend request, I'll accept it. Blah blah blah. Anyways, what I was trying to get to is you can actually play your PlayStation games on here and not your TV. So someone else could be using your TV while you're playing your PlayStation Four games on here using this as a display, which is really really cool. Oh, with a launcher here, I just accidentally found this. If you slide in from here, you've got installed, most used, alphabetical, own order, uninstall, search apps, and then quickly get to the Play Store. Under your recent apps, a lot of it's just like AOSP Android where you slide this stuff out of the way. You also have a neat little close button for all of them, and you've got little quick apps here. 
and I'm assuming you can re rename, delete, uninstall small, or add favorites to there. Yeah, so you can quickly just like, okay, I want to launch this app right here, and bam, look, there you go, you launched Chrome, and it's a little window there, cool. So obviously we haven't had the phone too long, we can't really tell you everything, but you can even resize, that is really cool, you can resize it, and make it smaller, or bigger, and just close it out. So just launch your stuff right here, like Active Clips, Timer, Gmail. Let's launch Gmail. There we go. We're not signed in, obviously. I'm going to reset this before I sign in, so that's all there is to that. Since there's so many apps on here, and I don't I don't know what, how these apps got on here, if Sony did that. But that's a lot of bloat, man. Shaw, Essig, Mobile, Kylin TV, uh, Grab Taxis, uh, freaking AVG, Antivirus file command yeah we're pizza hut yeah we're, we're resetting this thing for sure uh just in case some of those apps were installed by somebody else but uh that was a unboxing and first look at the sony xperia z3 uh so far my impressions are that the body of it is an absolute just beautiful design like i it feels like you're holding a phone a premium phone not something cheap or you know that's gonna break on you Holding the power button. Okay, this is so cool. Check this out. Hold down the power button. Record screen. Uh, legal responsibility. Uh, respect the rights of others and do not use screen recording to record content that may violate any copyright. Okay, agree. And now record. And now we're recording. So if we launch a game or something, we are recording and then we can stop recording. And go to our gallery and play that video back. Alright, so we still got a little more to do actually. Let's go to the settings here and see what all we can find and play with in here. Looks like there's some kind of an update. Wow, a bunch of Sony apps are updating. So Bluetooth, Xperia Connectivity, NFC, which is a little icon I told you about earlier. Mobile networks, internet storage. What's under Xperia Connectivity? One Touch Setup, Throw Settings, Screen Mirroring, Cast Screen, Windows Tethering, DualShock 3 and 4. Set up your DualShock controller with this phone. That sounds pretty freaking awesome. There's even like a little thing you put your controller in. Like you put it the, I guess you wrap it around your controller or something. And it's kind of like a MOGA controller where it holds your phone in it. Mirror Link, USB Connectivity, Personalization. You can personalize all the stuff here. What? You can do the status bar icons? So you can choose a battery. You can choose Stanima. You can choose Bluetooth. So if you have your Bluetooth on and you don't want that icon sitting up there the whole time, you can take that away. It would be cool if you could take the NFC icon away, but you cannot do that. Under display, we're going to see what all options are here. Image enhancement, glove mode. So the screen's going to be more sensitive, I guess, when you have gloves on. You can change your sleep to a little bit more. I'm the kind of person that when I'm done with my phone, I just press the power button and turn it off. So I don't need my phone to turn off automatically on me. Or like really, like I'm reading something that times out real fast. So you got storage. Let's see how much storage is available without installing any personal apps. We've got 11 or 10.52 available, which isn't bad. And we can put a micro SD card in there. If the, if the phone itself doesn't support moving apps to external storage, you will be able to root and install a folder mount and move your apps over there. Like you could have all the GTAs on your SD card if your SD card is big enough and it won't be touching your internal storage. It'll only be going on the external storage. So under power management, we've got standima mode, ultra standima mode, low battery mode. So you got all kinds of different things in here for managing your battery life and getting more and more battery life out of your phone. You've got tap and pay, so you can use NFC. Under about phone, it looks like we're rocking the very latest 4.4.4 at the moment. And you can see the build number there and the kernel that they're using. And then the model number, D6653. To the little recording icon, we can, oh cool, video quality, full HD, HD 720 and VGA. That's cool. I wonder how you get this little icon to go away there. Oh, oh, now it's recording with the front camera. And so if I hit record, it's going to record the screen. And it's going to record the front camera. That's cool. So we can play with other apps. And dude, that's really cool. I am really liking that. We'll go ahead and stop that.
And then we'll go to our gallery here. Oh, you can move it around. I got it. To, there we go. And then you just press this little Xbox marks thing to get it to go away. We'll go to our gallery real quick. Okay, screen records. So we'll play the latest one at 7.29 p.m. here. What's Which it's not. Uh, we'll go to... I guess we'll just do photos for once. That speaker is loud. I'm impressed with how loud that is. I'm using a microphone that's facing just towards me, so it's not going to record stuff very well coming from this direction, but that is loud. I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, okay, I'm liking this phone, definitely. I'm definitely liking this phone. You can take a screenshot, record, restart it. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. See how long the sucker takes to start up, and then we'll end the video. It looks just like the PlayStation screen when it, lo when it boots up. It sounds just like it, too. All right, so that's about it. All I wanted to show you for this video, we're going to go ahead and root this sucker, reset it, log into our Google account, and go from there. So expect another video on this thing here very soon, as well as Nexus 6, Nexus 9, Nexus Player. We have all three of those devices pre-ordered. Can't wait for them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here and you want to see more videos on future devices and more videos on this thing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to know when the next video is coming out before I post it to stay in touch with me and etc. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.